In this video, I want to show you how to install a 2.5 inch SSD drive in your Lenovo IdeaPad laptop. This video will cover the physical aspect of the installation. If you want to clone your existing drive to the new drive you're installing, you can find the instructions in a video I made earlier. The link is in the description. The first thing to do is to make sure that the laptop is completely shut down and also remove the power cord. Then flip over the laptop and you need to remove the 10 screws that are on the bottom of the laptop. You have four short screws that are facing towards you on the side of the speakers and you have six longer screws that are three in the middle and three on the top. So remove all the screws using a Phillips head screwdriver when you finish removing the screws, you need to pry open the cover of the laptop. So here use a plastic pry tool. You can check in the description for a link on a tool set that I got for this. And here very carefully, make sure the pry tool goes into the opening and then the laptop, it has latches. If you cannot continue with the small pry tool, I have a bigger one here. And also you can use a plastic ruler if you have. Just make sure not to insert it too much in the laptop, otherwise you may damage it. And you need to be very careful and patient. And go all the sides. And then as you see, the cover is opened. And this is a hard disk that we're gonna replace with an SSD drive. So it has four screws that retains it to the laptop. These two screws here retain the battery and also the hard drive. So I'm removing them and then these are the two smaller or shorter screws. Just you need to lift the hard disk a little bit and then pull it to the left. The hard disk is installed in a cradle with four screws. You need to remove them also. With the same Phillips head screwdriver, remove these screws. And careful not to mix them later when you install the SSD with the screws that hold the cradle to the laptop. So they are easily differentiated. They are like of a silver color. And this is the SSD. As you see, you should align it, of course, the openings, the SATA connector and the power connector. Now just you need to remove the hard disk. Just push it from the bottom. It is removed easily. And now you need to install the SSD in the same direction, of course. So make sure the opening of the SATA connector and the power connector is facing where the cradle has an opening also. And then reinstall the screws one by one. Do not over tighten the screws. Just tighten them a little bit. And then when all the screws are installed, Install the SSD in the laptop. Align the connectors with the connectors in the laptop. And then here you need to slide it in. You see that where the holder has openings for the screws, you need to slide them underneath also the opening of the battery. Just pull up the battery one millimeter and then make sure the connectors are well installed of the SSD. And then here you need to put the screws. You have a short screw and a longer screw. The longer screw goes towards the battery. So you have two screws here. It's always a good idea to install the screws diagonally. Here also do not over tighten the screws. So here are the screws installed. And let's now put back the cover on. So this is the cover. Also, you need to push it down gently. Make sure not to break it. Push it on all the sides so that the latches go in. And you need to reinstall the screws, of course. So once again, the shorter screws are towards where the speakers are on the bottom. You have four short screws and then six longer screws in the middle and on the top of the laptop. So here I'm installing the screws.
and when everything is installed turn over the laptop and let's test it now so i'm gonna turn it on and previously i cloned the disk as i told you in the beginning of the video so if you want to see how to clone the disk you can look in the description for the link and here's the laptop working and that was all i hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful if you did please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up thank you for watching